from my past memory lane i can just uh, quickly pick a few of the things and my journey with srijan is as old as my kid as i told you so in 2006 when i joined srijan um, it wasn't a big organization so we had a small uh, kind of a startup company you say um, wherein there were quite a few people we can just count them on the fingers right so that was the kind of uh, sense that we have but i think over the past almost like 12 years uh, things have changed dramatically um, right from the processes uh, the way we approach to our client uh, the way we handle the different uh, areas be it in uh, the field of our client benefits or uh, so to say our people the core strength uh, so those things have changed uh, dramatically um but i think um, one thing that still remains is the core values that we always keep and we always talk about uh, i mean we can say that is the core value or uh, our dna of srijan that we have kept it yeah so Shishan, you may want it. yeah i mean i joined shortly after i'm not shortly 3 years after yeah. right? so for me it's going to be 9 years uh, this year and uh, yes they mentioned we were few people right i i think when i joined we were 20 people about 20 people and i think you all came in from nehru place at that time and we shifted to a cp office uh, when i joined so it was in himalaya house right next door uh, yeah a lot of memories i mean we clearly remember i think uh, eighth floor uh, a small setup then you know we, everybody used to have lunch together so the whole company everybody sitting in one room and uh, yeah i think as videsh sir mentioned some of the values have definitely i mean it's evolved but we still retain the same things right for example the way we used to have lunch at that time everybody used to it was a potluck every day right everybody used to share everybody's lunch and it was a whole company but i still see that in within teams right it's similar we have now big teams so in fact uh, we have teams which are almost 15 20 people now so i still see same thing happening but not at of course we cannot have people that yeah people are people at different locations and different offices but still some of that is carried forward but yeah great memories i think from yeah and if i remember correctly so the things that we have always maintained is the transparency right uh, be transparent to your people and to your client because that has helped us to grow uh, from where we are and where we are now it's just that the method the delivery method has changed <laughs> i mean uh, we don't we didn't need any town halls or conference calls at that time right to Uh, give a company update like what's happening. It was just stand up and just say it aloud, and everybody will hear it, right? What's happening and who's working on which project and uh, how are our finances and everything was like just you know, Rahul would get up or anybody would get up and just say it aloud, right? And everybody would hear. Now, of course, we need you know town halls and we need to organize and make sure everybody is joining in from different time zones. But the idea is the same, right? We we still maintain that. I think definitely. Yeah. And because we have. expanded across different geographical locations i think that's where this yeah. town hall kind of thing is required yeah. the spirit is still there i think we still sharing what uh, everybody is working on what projects are going on so i think that visibility is still there It, you know now i'm trying to measure that we have grown so much right <laughs> <laughs> now i have realized those things right i mean we have right i mean we were 20 when i joined now the project that i'm working on has 20 people in the team so it's just one project and we have 20 people so it's a completely different uh, nature of projects and nature of clients everything has changed and we've evolved uh, right so the journey has been great so i think uh, the first client uh, with whom i had an interaction uh, and he's still in touch although he's not a client right now um, Uh, so do you remember Michael Cannon, right? Yes. Yeah. So he has been uh, a great client. Uh, learned a lot of things from him. Although uh, he was in a different time zone, so I had to cope with that uh, time zone. He was in US, and since we were operating from India, so there was a overlap that was required. So that was like a sleepless nights at some time, uh, because after all, uh, he was our client, so we had to serve him. and i remember uh, during that time uh, since uh, my kid was too young so uh, at that time it was kind of a 
managing both aspect as a parent and as a sort of an employee and then as a vendor for that particular client so yeah i think uh, uh, because we put in those hard effort at that time uh, i think that's where uh, we have been able to sail through and that's where we are right now right because i think hard effort uh, although in the initial stage it may seems like uh, uh, a bit of uh, protest from your internal thing right but uh, at the end or in the longer run when you see it really pays off right and that's where i have learned things right yeah i mean so similar i mean one of my earlier projects was in <coughs> kalam i think 8 years ago and i'm still in touch with the client right so viri and gorav in fact we became good friends uh, they're in new york as well so we I, i met them recently as well we go out for drinks and dinner so still in touch with them there have been several such clients i, I think it's primarily because you know uh, the thing in which i was really pleasantly surprised at when i joined shrivin was the whole team you know is there aren't too many layers right between the client and so there's no you know we don't have too many managers or uh, layers so everybody who's on the project gets to interact directly with the client and uh, you know so yeah that's where uh, those relationships develop and uh, I, i am in touch with a lot of clients still you know with whom we worked 8 years 9 years ago so i think that uh, even though we are yeah. working with them but we are in touch with them yeah. <coughs> and i think it's the trust that rahul had in us uh, because i think uh, being a new person and exposing um, your employee to a client right so that takes a lot of strength right uh, because you never know what can go wrong with a client so i think it's the trust factor uh, that plays a lot of uh, role in building these kind of relationship and uh, i think with the client we always had a uh, not as a client vendor relationship it was more uh, like a thought partner relationship where we were not only addressing their current need but we were also helping them to think through uh, the solutions or uh, say so to say the uh, upcoming problems that they might face in so i think those are the things that have evolved I think on a personal front, and it's, it's always a challenge. Uh, for example, to even you know take time off, right? I mean, when I, I when I joined initially, working long hours, it's something you want to do. I mean, I wanted to do that, and uh, I never felt uh, the need of. I never faced this challenge. But somewhere midway, two three years into the job, I, you know, wanted to travel or take some time off. It was always a challenge to you know how to approach that because. working in a small team two three people team if you remember those days right you two people on a project three people on a project right and it's like it's almost if you go away for a week what will happen to the project who's going to take over and other things but then i realized that it's not that hard you know and uh, especially in shrivin because the organization supports you so well it's it's just a matter of i think that's something that a lot of us can learn and we need to learn as well as to how to you know take proper time off take a break whenever you want to so uh you know one of the learning for me is just to communicate right communicate early communicate articulate that you know you want to take some time off plan accordingly uh make sure you're not the only one uh, who knows what you're doing so always work pair up with somebody make sure the knowledge is there in the team right uh, so that you know and it's it's great for the project as well i think as an organization now we encourage people to take time off because it's great for the project you sh- there shouldn't be too much dependency on a single person or a few individuals so i think it's great for the for yourself to take some time off it's great for the project if some the key key person takes a time off you get to know you know how well uh, the team is prepared for it so that's something that i've learned over the years and uh, how to do that and uh, as an organization she can really helps with that because uh i i also even within a day right i if i have some personal work i can go out right i remember when i was in the cp office i used to always uh if, if there wasn't any work i would go step out for 2 3 hours do my personal chores i go to the bank do some stuff you know uh, if i could do something for my family i'd go ahead and do it right it's there's there's no in, in my personal opinion there's no work life balance it's just life right so this is life so and it's i think she didn't encourage that so 
if you have some personal work during the day we can take care of it and you know catch up on work later so those small things you can do and you have to learn all of these it's not that and it's difficult when you join an organization you try and expect there must be a protocol there must be some rules around this how, how should i do how many leaves do we have but it's not really like that here right it's, yeah it's just a matter of work and working with your team and uh, teammates support you in that as well so even in my current project you know if, uh, if i have to take some time off i pair up with somebody and then that person takes some time off i cover for him or her so these are things that i've learned over the years and it was a challenge for me for sure initially yeah. and i think it, there is one aspect of this right uh, which you shared uh, the planning uh, the transparency right that is to keep uh, the client and uh, our interaction transparent so that they know that these are the things and planning of course plays an important role in this um, how about you sir yeah i, I mean <laughs> initially i had a great uh, lot of challenges right especially maintaining personal and professional balances like uh but over a period of time i have realized that uh, one thing uh, which really worked for me is uh, better planning not in terms of uh, personal but professional life also which includes communicating clearly and crisply that uh, what are the things that are uh, coming up and what are the plans for your next uh, phase of deliverable so that um, if let's say if i have to take certain leaves so we can just plan accordingly uh, the next thing i highlight is more about uh, articulating because i think that's where i still lack few of the things right but i think articulation in terms of communicating clear picture to the client so that is important because after all at the end of day right uh, so we are working for a client and unless until he doesn't know about our plans i mean it will be uh, unfair uh, on the client's part and unfair to yourself also because you will be doing unjust to yourself you will be stretching out so i think if you uh, maintain that kind of collaboration with the client things will improve.